Hey, this is Dr. Barry. In this short video, I want to talk to you about a topic that's very important to many people who have lost significant amounts of weight, and that's loose skin. And so in this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix the loose skin you have from weight loss. Uh, many, many people around the world who have lost weight in unhealthy ways, who have lost weight too quickly, or who have uh, just have bad genetics or have a terrible diet previously can wind up with a lot of loose, redundant skin after some significant weight loss. And I'm going to talk to you about that today and, and also suggest some ways that you can improve this, okay? Now, if you know anyone who has loose skin from a lot of weight loss, who's considering plastic surgery to fix this, please share this video with them. Share it on your Facebook page. Share it in your weight loss group, in your uh, ketogenic group. Help people who don't know this information. Okay, so let's talk about how to fix loose skin from weight loss. Now, there's um, what I want to do is talk to you about this in concepts. So when you understand these concepts, you really can't be fooled or tricked or misled by anyone who's trying to make a buck off of your problem. Okay, so first and foremost, you have to understand that there is absolutely no quick fix for this. It took you years to develop the obesity. It took you months, if not years, to lose the weight. And so the loose skin that may be left behind, it's not going to go away overnight. It's not going to go away in a week or two or a month or two even. But there are things you can do to help it to slowly get better, to slowly be less significant in your life. And ultimately, to get it to a point where you're happy with it and you don't really worry about it anymore. So you have to understand that if anybody is selling a cream or a lotion or anything like that to put on your skin, that's stupid. That is never going to work. I don't care what they promise. I don't care about a double money back guarantee. None of that matters. It will not work. That is impossible. That's like taking a barn that's 150 years old and falling apart and then putting a brand new coat of paint on the roof and saying, there you go, that's going to fix your barn. That's dumb. That's not going to help the barn at all. So you cannot buy any pills. You cannot buy powders. You cannot buy potions, creams, lotions, any of that stuff. None of that wraps. Wraps will not work. I'm sorry. There is no research that shows that any of this stuff will help do anything except enrich the seller of that product product. So don't don't fall for that. Don't waste your money on that. So number two is a very important concept and it's somewhere where you can spend some money and it's okay. Your skin that, you, that you're wearing right now, looseness and all, is literally made of what you've eaten over the last three months. And so if you lost weight in an unhealthy way, if you lost weight with Weight Watchers or, or the Flexitarian or the Ornish or, or Jenny Craig or any of these unhealthy ways to lose weight, you're probably going to have some loose, redundant skin. But that skin is made of that suboptimal diet that you ate. Your skin's not made of anything else except what you ate. Okay. And so here is where you need to understand that three months from now, you, you will completely relate, replace every single skin cell you have. You want that skin to be made of the best quality food that you can afford to put in your body because that's going to help the skin repair itself. That's going to help the skin uh, get rid of some of this looseness very slowly, but surely the no, very important concept is your skin is made of what you eat. So you have to eat the right food and eat good quality food, eat as much organic grass-fed food as you can afford. And like I said, this is the step to spend some money on. This is worth the effort, okay? If you want your skin to improve, you have to feed it better quality foods. Now, the next thing is, is that the skin is made of what you eat. Your skin is completely replaced every two months, every three months. And so that's concept number two. Concept number three is your skin is literally made of what you eat. And this sounds like kind of something your grandmother would say, you know, you are what you eat, but she's absolutely right. Every single cell in your skin is replaced every two to four months. And so three months from today, you'll have a new skin. Are you going to be proud of what that skin's made of or not? That's a very important question. And so if you're feeding your skin progressively and prog progressively better building blocks, it's going to be a better and better quality skin. And better quality skin has more collagen, has more elastin, has more fibrin molecules. And that makes it tighter. That makes it springier. That makes it snap back better. 
every quality of good skin gets better when you feed it a better diet. So your skin is absolutely made of what you eat. That's number three. Now, number four, the big one that everybody in the intermittent fasting community is reading about and learning about is autophagy. And this is a combination of two Greek words, which basically means that your body can digest parts of its own self. And this is a very important and very powerful concept if you have loose, redundant skin and you don't want to have surgery. So when you start to intermittently fast, probably about 16 to 18 hours is the length of fast that's going to really kick in autophagy. And when your body runs out of carbs, it's going to start burning fat, right? And you may think that that loose, redundant, flappy skin is just skin, but there's still fat in there. And as you continue to auto-digest the fat out of that skin, off your booty, off your belly, your skin's going to continue to tighten up. There's no doubt about that. But when your body auto-digests the fat, it also auto-digests the protein that's within and around that fat. And part of that protein is the redundant, loose, flappy skin. And so your body's perfectly capable of auto-digesting or reusing, recycling that loose skin. But you have to give it the opportunity to do so. And so if you're eating every two hours or even every four or six hours, your body is burning the carbs and the protein that you and, and the fat that you ate. Your body doesn't need to, to do any autophagy whatsoever at the tissue level. Now, autophagy is always taking place at the cellular and the mitochondrial level. But what we're trying to do is hack our system and kick this in at a higher level, at the tissue level. And so to do that, you have to intermittently fast or do some sort of fasting. And so once you get your fasting window up to 16, 18, or 20 hours a day, autophagy is really going to kick in. At least that's what most of the experts in this field think. Now, some people notice, <clears throat> and I have no doubt, that if you fast for longer periods of time, the autophagy is going to increase. Now, there's no reason to think that it wouldn't. That's common sense. And so you can imagine if we were back on the savannah 30,000 years ago and there was no food to eat for days and days and days, your body's going to start breaking down tissues that it doesn't need and again, a lot of people out there will say, oh, you'll start digesting your brain and your eyeballs and your muscles. Well, they think your body's stupid and they're wrong about that. Your body's very wise. Your body's very intelligent. When it has to start breaking down tissues and using them, it's going to start breaking down the tissues that it needs the very least. One of those is loose, redundant, floppy skin from weight loss. And so I would predict, and no one knows this for sure, but I would predict that if you're doing a routine intermittent fasting schedule of fasting 18 or more hours a day or doing two or three days a week of a 24-hour fast, you can expect about a 1% improvement every three months in your loose, flappy skin. <clears throat> now, that's going to be different for other uh, different people. Some people will notice drastic improvements. And indeed, people who have lost the majority of their weight through the ketogenic diet plus intermittent fasting have much less loose, redundant skin to start with. I've seen that multiple times in my clinic, and I've had multiple people reach out to me on my Facebook page and say, hey, I've lost 80, 100, 120 pounds with keto plus intermittent fasting, and I don't have any redundant loose skin at all. Yes, that's exactly right, because they're paying attention to these concepts that your body's made of what you eat, your skin replaces itself every three months, and autophagy is a big deal. And so when you take all those concepts and marry them together with the ketogenic diet plus substantial, significant intermittent fasting, you're going to slowly but surely improve your loose skin. So many people are on the verge of calling the plastic surgeon to have their loose skin removed, but that's probably not necessary if you'll just have some patience and realize it's going to take months or a year or two to significantly reduce your loose skin. It's not going to happen overnight. No product can make it happen overnight. The only thing that can make it happen overnight is plastic surgery, and that comes with its own significant set of possible side effects. There is one other procedure that you can have done at your doctor's office if they do this, and it's called microneedling. And microneedling to a deep enough depth, uh, uh, millimeter and a half, two and a half millimeters, will absolutely increase the amount of collagen that you're making in your skin. And if you blend that technology with intermittent fasting plus the ketogenic diet, 
that's probably going to speed it up to two or three percent improvement per month. But the, all this is experimental. Nobody's done the big randomized control trials that would prove this, and probably no one ever will because there's no money to be made. So we have to go by the common sense, our ancestral heritage, and the physiology and the biochemistry that we understand the human body uses. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you feel like my videos have really impacted your life, you can always click the Patreon link down there and throw a buck or two my way. It just gives me more time to make more videos just like this. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.